TJ, no. I play guitar. Okay. I'm Ralph, I play bass. Okay. I'm Tyler, I play drums. Cool. I'm Nick, I play bass. And how long have you guys all been uh, vegan? You said 20 years, Nick, right? I'm older than these guys, and yeah, I've been yeah, vegan okay. for 20 years. And how about you? Uh, right around four and a half years, five. Okay, awesome. Five Rough. years. Five years? Uh, just about, I went vegan on December 1st, 2007, cold turkey. Uh, originally did it for health, and then got into the politics of it, and then we've been since. We run into a lot of people on the blog that uh, have, uh, let's just say, disdain for those that's go vegan for health reasons without uh, considering the animal rights aspect of it. And I got, personally, I started out with health, like you guys said, and, and graduated to the animal rights. Do you think it's, um, those people should uh, be castigated for that, or, or should we just welcome anybody and assume that they'll they'll come around eventually like most of us do? I, I think that any gateway into veganism is, is, is a gateway. So if you get into, like, you got into it for health reasons and, and transformed into uh, political stance as well. Um, so I can't, I can't knock anybody. I, I, I mean, I feel that if you do for health reasons, there is a possibility for you to leave that lifestyle. Mm -hmm. But anything that, anything that curbs your consumption of meat is ultimately a positive. Take all we can uh, get. Yeah, 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 it's a positive it's thing. Cool. Yeah. And that, that, that is, that is one thing about about the, the health stance is that. Um, Theories on health are constantly in flux. It's like there's a new diet every, right. every you know, <laughs> right. couple of months. And so somebody's on the you know, Engine 2 diet or they, they just read Skinny Bitch. Right. Um, those are the types types of books that um, I want anybody to, who is interested in veganism to try veganism. But it does, it does create um, a, a circumstance where people experiment with veganism um, for health reasons and then they move on to the next health trend. Right. And um, um, it is a great gateway, but people should not stop there. So they should explore further and see where else it will take. Cool. So you guys have a, a pretty progressive uh, political stance. And what do you say when you run into other progressives that... Uh, freak out over the veganism thing. I mean, I am no stranger to uh, internet wars, and even on the most progressive website, the term vegan can per turn people that agree with us 99% into freaking Rush Limbaugh. I mean, seriously. I mean, I, I know you guys have had to run into that. Yeah, I mean... I, I mean, you kind of touched on it about... Yeah, we don't run into it as much in the, in the hardcore community um, um, that we play to, um, just because there is a fairly high number of vegans and vegetarians, um, but you do run into circumstances where um, you know, there are lots of people that are on board with a lot of liberal ideas, and at the same time, the thought of giving up eating animal flesh to them is just absurd, Right. and it, it, it is kind of mind-blowing. And you're evil for even suggesting yeah, it. Yeah. Okay. To, to suggest that kind of uh, privation is is just insane, and people don't make, uh, are just unwilling to to make that connection between animal suffering and human suffering. That's all. Uh, yeah. Like the, all like the, I, I mean, in every, especially in America, but nearly any culture I could possibly think of, animals are absolutely subordinated to humans. Right. And 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 to think that they could possibly be sentient beings deserving of compassion. And, and love and just the right to live their lives without, you know, uh, uh, being killed. Being oppressed, being killed. <laughs> yeah, the ultimate oppression, being, right. uh, you know, murdered is, is just so beyond their their grasp. And in spite of all of their enlightened viewpoints, they just couldn't, they, it's hard to grasp for a lot of people. One of, the, one of the things that you do see is that, like, we see, um, animal rights and animal liberation as an extension of social justice movements. Okay. But a lot of a lot of people that have a social justice background a lot of times come from um, a religious background. And right. that is that is their in to social justice. And the thing is is that a lot of religions it it, it seems that um, even though they'll have a you know thou shalt not kill they'll also be like animals are meant to be subordinate to man. Right. And I think that really kind of creates a divide that, you know. Okay. Um, 
You said you, you don't run into problems within playing to your your normal audience. Um, do you ever feel though? Uh, Preaching to the choir might not be the most effective way of getting your message up. Oh, for sure. I mean, like a, a festival like this festival, they brought together a lot of bands that are all on the same page. Right. So it's really more for the networking aspect, right. and also seeing how we can take all of our individual little ideas uh -huh. and turn them into something that is going to take it further. Okay. Um, but when we play like a normal show, we definitely play to a, a mixed bag. Okay. In it, playing in, playing to the hardcore punk community, um, in a setting outside of this, you're going to have a much more diverse political makeup. Um, but of course, if we if we play to, let's say, the people at the farmers market today, <laughs> um, I'm sure they would not pay attention to us. But there would probably be a lot more people that might get something out of what we have to say, but right. unfortunately, our sound is something that is going to... And, 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 and tempering the sound isn't an option, correct? No, no, yeah. no. <laughs> the, the other thing is, though, is like, while, I mean, it, we might not be confronted by it a lot in punk and hardcore, because people are used to the idea, because they're exposed to it a lot more, mm -hmm. uh, but that doesn't mean that all of those people are on the same page either. Like, we, we are going to come into contact with a lot more vegans and vegetarians, I feel like, uh, especially in the area that we're from. But that doesn't mean that everybody is. Like, there's a lot of young kids in, in the Midwest, a lot of the young kids in Chicago who are on, like, you know, a, a kind of on that, like, border where they, they're starting to acknowledge it. And I've seen just from, like, hanging out with, like, younger kids or people who aren't uh, necessarily um, um, vegan or vegetarian. Right. Uh, okay. You know, just being, like, exposed our band or you know other like-minded uh, bands that have considered it and some a lot of follow through as well yeah. um, and that's so, so ju just you know like you said we might not um, get a lot of flack for it mm -hmm. but it doesn't mean that we're necessarily playing to people who are already, already there. there you know okay, I got that. they're just more used to it so maybe they're not going to say anything about it. yeah and that's that's one of the one of the huge things that he touched on is that because um, punk and hardcore um, draw a very youthful element. There's constantly an influx of new blood. Okay. And so, though the old guard may be like tired of hearing what we have to say, there's always a new crop of kids coming in sure. that are okay. being exposed to something for the first time. Right. Okay. okay. Fair enough. And, uh, and then, is anything else you guys want to say to uh, the people that fear the vegan? <laughs> Go vegan. It's fun. It's Think about going vegan. Yeah. Think about going vegan. It's it's. It was honestly uh, the easiest decision I've ever made in my life. Also, the most liberating for me because I used to just eat like fucking pizza. And I was like, oh, Mexican food sounds boring. Yeah. Uh, and it blew my mind when I started tasting food that was actually good, you know, cool. uh, that I would have never been exposed to had I not been forced to by going vegan. Cool. Anything else you guys want to say? Uh, that's it. Go vegan. Go vegan. Go vegan. Thanks.